Welcome back to another episode of Sunday Snipes, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have some interesting settings going on. Uh, we're jumping back into some fixed cards, change up from the last couple weeks. We're playing on King Dynasty, which has a very interesting uh, mechanic to it, which I'm not sure if all the players are going to be aware of. Uh, let me see. Oh, I have a decent spawn to take this top bonus. Should I do that? That's actually pretty scary. Orange is a bot, so this eight is poof. Maybe that bot's gonna want to take this continent instead. Uh, sorry, pink and orange are bots. You want to pay attention to those kind of things. Good roll. So we're going to play on King Dynasty, um, World Domination, Auto Setup, Hard AI, not Expert, but Hard is also able to do some crazy stuff. Uh, I'd like to see the bot hit some red. Oh, ho, ho, yummy. And then I want to see the orange bot clear this. These are my enemies, right? I have two Expert AI and three opponents. Uh, fog is off, Blizzards are off, Balance Blitz, Fixed Cards, Ranked Game, King Dynasty. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. The, the neat thing about this map is this is the Great Wall of China, I believe. It is a Great Wall. And uh, if you're attacking from the north side to the south side of the wall, it is the same as if you're attacking a capital from Capital Conquest. So any territory below this wall... What does this bot do? Oh! Don't hit my fours. Hit these. Oh. oh! So, uh, if you know Capital Conquest, uh, the capital that you own, if somebody attacks it, you get three defender dice. So, three attacker dice versus three defender dice. The defender dice uh, win on any ties. It's incredibly powerful, right? <clears throat> okay. And he takes a bonus and chills. So, attacking over this wall from north to south, they have three defender dice. But uh, they only have one troop. There's no free defense, right? So I get five. <clears throat> I'm going to relax now. And now, uh, let me see. I do want to put all my troops up here. I'm just going to protect my bonus. And I'm going to take this little territory here. And I'm going to fortify my troops into it. So I'm running away from the orange bot because it's going crazy in here. Uh, also, we'll see what the pink bot does. It might add here and hit this. Oh, it's going to break orange's bonus. That's unfortunate. I don't want the bots to fight each other. I want them to fight other people. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, the wall, That's it only uh, works when you're attacking from the north side to the south side. Uh, let's check the players out. We have General the Little, 66. Uh, 1385 wins, 1330 losses, like dead even. So red is a threat. And he's breaking white's bonus. Oh, baby. And white is Mr. Zemi. Zemi? Don't know what country that is. 79 wins, 223 losses. Okay. And the blue player, Denny Voff. Favin? Ned? Even backwards, it's weird. All right. 857 to 1882. Look at this yellow bot just slam slam. Look how weak white is. And he's pissed at red. He might hit me. Yeah, he suicides into red. Blue's probably just going to kill him for his one card. Uh, what do my cards look like? Okay, I need a cavalry to get the big trade. So we've already got white eliminated. Um, maybe not even. Uh, blue would have to stretch. One, 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 one. I guess he could do it. Four on two is only 75%, so he could fail. He didn't do it. <clears throat> so I'm going to kill white and take the one card, right? That seems like the play. Six on two is 100%. OK, 
good. I kind of want to keep that plus two, but I'm going to use this one instead. Oh, and I didn't have a, a thing. Okay. We're going to end the attack phase, and we're going to bring this into here. And a horse? A wild card? Okay. Now, uh, red and blue are my only two human opponents, right? So, oh. This might hit me. It's not the end of the world. Okay, it didn't even. Okay, red's on 14 troops. Uh, 13 troops. He's going to get three troops this turn. He's got an eight stack and a couple things here. He could hit me, but I could essentially kill him this turn for three cards. And blue is down here. He's not really in it. Yeah, red's going to hit me. Okay. I might kill him. So I can cash in, put everything on this nine, hit this, break that, or kill that. Only leave three here and run over and finish red. Take his cards. This 11's likely going to hit this and maybe the six. I hope it doesn't hit my eight. The six. If it hit that six, I would be so happy. I'd be jumping for joy right now. Um, we'll see what blue does. This, this turn's going to leave him with three cards. So maybe... I just need to beat the humans, right? Yeah, so Blue's just going to be down here. Is he going to hit me down here? No, he hit the bot twice and he's chilling. So he's got a couple big stacks, but he's down there. We're going to take the cash. Um, I don't need that one. I don't need the Jing. So I'll keep the King high just in case I have uh, troops here. So I'm going to kill Red, take his three cards. I'm done with uh, whatever drama he wants to have with people. Uh, this is a classic case of red has attacked too many times. So we're going to do this. And he had the big cash on three, so it's a good thing we did. That means we're going to have the big cash. And we're going to be in a position to punch blue. Uh, can't kill pink. I could, but I don't want to. Right? I'm going to do this. Because I want pink to add troops and go down. I want pink to add troops down here. Yeah! You baby! You know you want this bonus. Pink might hit this 8. He didn't realize pink was trying to take this bonus. You need to understand what the bots want to do. Okay, he got lucky. Um, an expert AI might have rolled his 8. It might have rolled here, moved all of its troops, and then rolled the 8 with a 12 on 8. Um, so Blue's on 25 troops. I'm on 34 with a big cash. What I'm going to do, because I only need to beat the human players to get a win, technically, is I'm going to go all out with my 22 and just hit Blue with everything I got. He gets three troops this turn. Uh, I have two bonuses. He has to attack through a bunch of bot to break my bonuses, which is fine. Or, well, let's see what he does. He's trading. Oh, so he's got 37. Okay. He put a 14 up there. So I maybe can kill him, but maybe I, I don't have to. I will just re-wipe out everything he did up here and let him leave his seven down here trapped in his own stuff, right? Because I'm going to have three troops to his, or three cards to his one. So I don't really have to care. And I know I have a big trade. Oh, I don't have a good uh, trade after that. So I want to keep Jill in. No, I can't. Uh, King High. Uh probably this one. I'm going to keep this. Oh, I want to keep that. Sorry. Let's do this. <clears throat> and I can't chain kills, right? Uh, chaining orange? No, that wouldn't work. Where am I going to stack to try to protect my bonuses? Here? Okay. So now I only need a cavalry to uh, to really hurt blue. And also, 
Orange is probably going to trade and not hit my 18. It's probably going to do stuff down here. Like, it might try to... It might come over here, too. Like, I, I might lose both my bonuses, but my entire goal right now if I, is if Blue has to come up through here, he opens my 18 stack to come retaliate strong. Okay. Are you actually going to roll an 18 and 18? That's game over for me. I literally just lose to a bot rolling an 18 on 18. <laughs> what? That's game over. That is actually just game over. Well, not overly, because I get to keep this bonus still. And I get to trade before him, but uh, that was disgusting. And I need to get a cavalry right now. Like, it's not over over, but wow, that hurt. Um. I want to bring the three out, but he's he could roll this again. It's really terrifying. <laughs> um. Got a cavalry. Okay. We're in business. If blue gets hit at all from these bots, I'm in, uh, Oh, come on. Oh, the bots. He's so lucky he dodges the bots and the bot smacks an 18 on 18. Very, very unfortunate. But I do have a big trade, which is going to put me right even with him. Please don't add here and smack me again. Okay. The bots are going to fight the bots. Despite me losing 18 troops to the bot, I'm still in this game to have a chance of winning. Blue's got his 9 stack trapped also, which is incredibly important for me. Like, he could come out this way, but it's really good that he can't. Is he, oh, is he going to try to kill me with this 11 stack? No. Oh, he's, he's setting up for the kill now. Okay. 25. Do I have enough to kill him? Uh, no. <clears throat> but I could ruin his day big time. Attacker's advantage. Now it's a 15 on 16. Might be 50% or better. It is. Oh, great roll. Um. We'll take this one down. If he doesn't have a trade on three, he loses. It's also possible Pink just kills him. No, Pink's adding up here to do stuff that's... If it is an expert AI, he probably dies. There's still a chance. Like, you have a... Yes? One more? And one more! No, uh, I almost three on one to this, and if I did... Uh, if he doesn't have a trade on three, though, he still loses. I have 18. Even if he has a big trade, he can't come kill me or anything. I still live, and there's a fair chance I still get this bonus. If the bot wants this instead. Despite losing an 18 v 18 to the bot... That was a mistake of mine. I I honestly had no idea the bot would do that, but hard bots play different than expert bots. I Oh, he had a he had a 6 trade on 3. You're so lucky. Bad roll? No, good roll. Yeah, he's knocking me out of the bottom. That's okay. I get a bonus. And I have a troop lead on him, right? So I'm going to take I'm going to sit here with my stack. And hope for uh, cavalry. Cavalry right now, baby. Game over. Ah! <laughs> Where's the luck when you need it, right? I might be able to kill him this turn anyways. Like, if the bots wipe this out and maybe block him from even getting a card. Oh, uh, no. So he's... Oh, well. 
Oh, they broke my bonus though. I just, I have such a better chance of getting a trade before him. His five doesn't have access to my five. This is me hiding behind his troop. Oh my goodness. This game's gotten hilarious. The fact that we're, the bots are just crushing, but we just have to kill the other human. Oh my God, do it. Oh my God, that thing was beelining for his five and it, it just went, that bot just went nuts for this corner. Gave him a free card without having to hit a two. Hmm. He's skipping. Okay, so if he skips, that's easy. I, I, I have an easy win now. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Uh, I take this and I fortify down. Right? Cavalry. Whatever. Those three are enough to kill him. Oh, the bot might kill him. Oh, if the bot hits my seven, I will cry. You are the luckiest person ever. Is the bot just going to guard him? Hit the one. Eight on one. The bot is guarding him now. Well, I can... It doesn't have a stack here. I guess I can still get him. But, like, I'm just... Let me just end the game. Don't break my bonus. Let me use the extra troops. Uh, we'll see if we can clean up the game and win after, right? He, I'm only getting out one card from killing him. Uh, hold on. We will pull out the juicy balance splits thing. How do I? How many do I need to kill an 11? I need a. You can see, a 17 is a guaranteed kill on 11. So I have a 12 plus a four, which would be a 16. Say 15, 14, 13, 13 on 11. Pink might have a trade, though, and it might just take my 7 out. Um, I think I take the, the chances, and I try to kill him right now. There's also a chance this cuts... No. A 62 chance to win the game. Oh, we did it! We take that. I lose 18 v 18 to a bot, because the bot doesn't care about this wall. It was on the high part. Ran me over. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, let's do that. <laughs> Another soldier. Did he have a horsey boo? He didn't have a horsey. He had a he had a artillery. All right. So we're trying to beat two fixed bots, and we are incredibly weak with no trade in, and the bots are monsters, and I'm getting ran over right now, like a by a train. Okay. So, I believe, I don't play a lot of free-for-all bot games, or, well, games with bots, right? I believe if I leave right now, the game does not count as a win for me. It counts as the game didn't exist. So, the game has to have a final result. So, for me to get my rating points and get a win in the rankings, I have to die to the bots. Because I'm not going to be able to beat the bots, so I'm going to have to die to the bots. Well, unless, unless I get a, a horse here and I don't die. Maybe they can't kill me and I get a horse. Or a cannon. Cannon will survive. All right. And if they just keep punching each other. Uh, if he attacks eight on five, uh, it's like hitting a cap. I don't know if the bots would do that. No, he goes a reach. He gives them the reach around. Yeah, bots are getting huge. And we've lost some music. Unaware why, but we'll go... Just pick a random song. Let's go here. Orange gets a 13. So I'm just going to live in the corner down here and let them fight each other and trade troops. Or, yeah, okay, I'm good. What a poor, poor blue guy. Still didn't have what it takes to win. That 18 v 18, though. Oh my god, I was not ready. Oh, perfect example of uh, resilience, right? If you play proper, you play smart, you can get through most situations. Uh, we'll just take this one. I don't really want to angle Pink's five into coming down. I think I'd rather take the two. So this is a... 
this is a card that most people would probably take over the orange two but pink could add to this five and run down and i don't want pink having a stack here at the end of next turn because he'll have three cards and then he might cash on three and try to kill me right so i think ideally i'm gonna go this way and maybe put this here a soldier again what are these cards Every time I play fixed, I get the worst trades. But I did get a big 10 trade early to kill red. So I guess I can't cry, but... It always feels gross when you get the bad cards in fixed. And uh, normally you remember the bad things that happen more than the good things. Wow. Orange is a monster. But I need him to keep punching pink, right? My chance is orange punches pink. Good. Maybe I can kill pink. Uh, and take its cards. Three cards, get a big trade. My goal is to survive. Pink and orange keep fighting, but oh my god. Orange owns the whole map. This hard bot is not screwing around. Um, No, another dude! <laughs> Fixed. Devil, devil, devil. All right, well, maybe I can kill Pink this turn. Uh, I'm assuming the 13's gonna hit the six and the nine's gonna hit a two. And like, I'm assuming Pink's gonna almost die to orange right here. Oh my goodness. And I can kill Pink. Unless, orange might kill Pink right now. It's just that big. It's that big. I need it to hit the six, and that would make it worth it for me. Yes. And maybe a couple twos? Nope, that's enough. Uh, I'm not going to trade, because I want a bigger trade. Um, no, I'm going to trade. Uh, I need to make sure I kill this. The thing is, I don't want to split... But I have to split to kill this and then be able to run through here after, right? So I have to go this way. Um, I think to be safe here, I'm going to put an 8. Yeah. So I'm going to take pink. And then I need to find pathing that breaks all of his bonuses, right? Ding, 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 ding. Ding. Mm. One. Uh, two, three, four. Uh, I think I need to break this one. Another soldier! <laughs> what is this? So, troop total, 22 to 96. Uh, beating the bot here, near impossible. But we're gonna try. Maybe not near impossible. I think this troop differential with a hard bot that's attacking this much is almost impossible. But we're going to try. We will try. I do get to hold a bonus, actually. There's a there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Um, we're going to take an hui. We're going to take the plus two in there. And I'm going to keep Inner Mongolia for later. That's this one. Uh, yeah. No. Um. All right, we're just gonna do this. Oh, I don't want to hit that five. Oh, and I didn't break this one. I screwed up. Uh, that's. Fine. Um. So I want this activated. Ooh, the sixteen's there. He doesn't have a trade, and he does have one bonus, though. I'm going to go here. Uh, I don't think he's going to roll this onto this. And the 16 is probably going to go left. There is still a chance to win this. Do I have a big trade? Oh, I have a big trade. We are in this game. How to beat an AI. Come from behind AI Slapper. Let's get that win on our record. We deserve the win. 
Uh, if we lose to this bot, we get a loss on our record. If we beat this bot, we get a win on our record. Actually, that's... That's actually incredibly good. The bot has slowed down on its attacks. So... I'm gonna just pretty much take as much of the map as I can now. With some exception. I need to remain... I need to make sure I have a stack. Oh, yeah, that roll, though. That's not too bad. Yeah. So we're going to do this, and I'm going to put the 7 under this one, guaranteeing a card next turn. 35 to 59, but it's going to cash soon. <laughs> now, with the big cash. So my priority in beating the bot from this scenario, 69 troops. We're going to dab on that. Uh, trick to beating the bot in this scenario, try to sneak a bonus hold somewhere and make sure the bot doesn't get any bonus troops. So we can prevent it having bonus troops, but we're not going to sneak a bonus hold, I don't believe. But we're going to beat it in territories, right? It's always going to be under 12, so it only gets 3 a turn, whereas I just got 7 for this, right? Should it be 7? Yeah. So we're going to take a bunch more territories again. Remember, don't attack down. You might want to hit the three and the one, but you do not attack down like that. That is not the play. And we're going to end attack phase, bring the six back here. So we have lines on these, guaranteeing ourselves another card and having my six not near a big stack so it doesn't get punched, right? Uh, now we actually need an infantry, but I burned them all out from my bad trades. So maybe I get the bonus uh, two troops from Mongolia. No, I don't. But I probably get seven on my turn. Yeah, so I'm getting seven troops a turn to his three, right? So I am uh, slowly catching up. I just need to, again, make sure he does not get this bonus. I'm probably going to come through here and hit this. Try to hold this bonus. I think that's the play. Yes. And... I'm going to put this two here. Maybe I'll try to take that next turn. I needed an infantry and I got a cavalry, so I don't have a trade. But like, he's only double my troops now. But this bot is maybe just retaking its bonuses and not going to break me, which would give me a plus three, which is just an extra three on top of my seven. I get seven troops because you get uh, one troop for every three territories you hold, right? So, because I have 21 or more, I get 7. If I had 24, that would be 8. So, I get 7 plus the 3 from this territory. We're going to come through, smack the bot a little bit more. Uh, we're also winning with uh, usually attacker's advantage rolls. You don't lose as many attacking as you would defending in balanced blitz. So, I'm going to assume he's going to break that. I'm not going to try to hold it. I'm setting myself up to kill this 3 next turn. Another cavalry. So, we've got triple cavalry. He's got <laughs> he's got all the infantry cards with that big old plus 4. I'm uh, feeling pretty confident we're going to win this game against the bot. Right now, it's just a matter of uh, finishing it up. I invite anybody watching this game uh, to subscribe to the channel. Uh, it would help me. I'm on a road to 1,000 subscribers. It's a bit of a long road. But if I get there, uh, it would allow me to put more time into the channel and consistently improve it even further, which is my goal. I do want to have a long-term YouTube game plan. Uh, so priority here, break both the bots. Bonuses, and I do want to take that one as well. And I will tack down in this scenario, uh, because seven on, it's it's like a cap. A capital that only has two dice can't defend with three, so it's perfectly fine. I'll bring this five over to here. I just want to make sure I've got cards, right? Oh, and I did get an infantry, so holding out and not trading benefited me. But yeah, we're, uh, we're growing the, the channel pretty well, and uh, I'm going to continue to do so. I'm going to continue to branch out and provide you as much content as I possibly can.
Uh, any likes or comments would also help. If you uh, want to comment on this game, let me know what you think I could have done better. Obviously, dodging the 18v18. I I'm aware that was probably one of the things, but uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on, uh, on this game. So I want Zilly, which is probably not the pronunciation, but we're going to do it. And come do the little reach around? No, because I don't want to hit the three from the top. What if I do... Oh, yeah. 51 to 51. Now we're in a position where we just punch the bot real good. Oh, yeah. Now we've got a troop lead. They come from behind. What was I down to? Against the two bots? It was like, uh... The one bot had, like, 30 troops, and Morange was at, like, 80? Disgusting. Very disgusting. Oh, do I get to hold some bonuses? Do I get to kill you this turn, maybe? Hmm. Probably not, but, uh... No, it's not enough to kill you this turn. But we're going to run you over. Oh, I should have put on here. What am I thinking? Blitz. You should never blitz uh, two on one. Uh, one thing to note about this game is uh, balanced blitz. Uh, a 2v1 is a 37% blitz roll. But if you change it to a manual 1v1... It's as if you're rolling the dice straight up, which actually gives you a 42.5% chance of winning that blitz roll, or uh, that roll. So you get 5%, 5.5% more chance to win if you're rolling a 2v1 if you use the manual roll. It's uh, pretty much the only time manual is better than uh, blitzing. Except in really tight emergency scenarios. But that is a story for another day. Today's story is we play, we get punched by the Great Wall of China, and we live to tell the tale. What do our opponents look like today? Expert, intermediate, and intermediate. Let's drag them over so we can all see. Once again, if you'd subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. Leave me a like, a comment, let me know what you thought. I have many more videos like this to come, and uh, I hope you have a great weekend. Take care.